The entrance to this catacomb has been blocked up since 1970 to protect it from tomb raiders. But I've been allowed to witness its opening. It's just so special to see this, because this is how every tomb and catacomb has been raided and robbed and entered for thousands of years um, in, in the ancient world and the modern. It's amazing. I don't think I'd ever get to see this. It's amazing. And Inspector Dr. Ahmed Zakri is here to open up this tomb, sealed for the last 50 years. Many of Saqqara's tunnels have never been explored. In the past, people have got lost down here, so I've got to stick close to Hashim. Wow, it's hot. It gets really hot down here. And it's pretty, it's pretty close. It hasn't been um, open for years. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, I had no idea that um, we'd get access to the chambers with so many in. So each one of these pots that you can see, that contains a mummified bird. And apparently there could be millions of them just here, just in this catacomb alone. Is that OK? Can we get down here, Hashim? What have you found? Yeah. Oh, it's, that's incredible. That's so incredible. So the mummies have still got their um, wrappings on. Yeah. Every single mummy mattered. Each one was left with the hope that its owner would win favour with the gods. What? Oh, my God. It's a perfect hawk's head. Look at that. You can see the beak and the eyes and this kind of decoration on the mummification bandages. Well, that's incredible. That is a find I am not going to forget for the rest of my life. In the 19th century, Mummy discoveries in Egypt caused a sensation in Europe. To satisfy mummy mania, souvenir hunters imported and smuggled mummy remains to Britain. Eventually, our hawk mummy found its way to Maidstone Museum. And when curator Samantha Harris decided to scan it, she had a shock in store. Hi, hi. Are you hi. Sam? Yes, hi. Bethany. Hi, nice to meet you. That looks to me like a hawk, like a falcon of some kind. Absolutely. So we have it documented as a mummified hawk, and that is because you've got the very iconic falcon eyes here, um, and the shape of it is very much bird-like, so with the wider shoulders and the narrower feet, this is very much the kind of hawk shape that you see in mummies. So lovely, this gold decoration. What, what clues does the surface give you? There's detail of what look like feet um, with gold painted uh, toenails. Yeah. And on the base as well, um, actually what looks like the bottom of sandals. So it does. Uh, so that's so odd. It's a very weird combination um, to be seeing in this kind of cartonage as well. Can you see the mummy itself? Yes. Or? You can still see the wrapped mummy here, um, so in good condition. Beautiful. I mean, that's beautifully done. Can we scan it? Oh, absolutely. Chris Price has kindly agreed to scan our hawk mummy with the very latest CT tech to show me what's inside. So if I start to strip off the, the outer linen, I start to see what's inside. But that looks like a hand. Yes. I mean, it's got hands. And feet. I mean, that is not a bird. And this became even clearer as I started to look at the 3D images. You've got to explain what's happening here, because that looks like that was a, a, a human inside there. Exactly. We are expecting to see very much a bird coming through in the scans, uh, and straight away it became very clear that it was not a hawk. <laughs> we can see there's crossed hands uh, and arms across yes. the body there. Yeah. Uh, that's very much a human mummification position. It's absolutely. So the conclusion was come to that it was uh, a human baby. A baby, look at that. 
Is it he or she, do you know? Yeah, we've relatively recently found that it's prob most probably male. Right. Um, it's so touching, isn't it? So after 2,000 years plus, he's been lying there. Nobody knew his story. It's hard to believe that this hawk mummy actually concealed a tiny baby. I've never seen anything like this in all my years as a historian.